Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all. Welcome to HCUCC 3.0 ISIL Academy YouTube channel and C Note. Uh, recently, I just saw one of our video or short video in it and I was impressed with that. So, I would like to combine that video three more dimensions here. So, how do you use or how do you combine a data in Excel? using the oldest way possible and how to use a power query to do so and we're using office 365 how to use v stake formula combine them again do it wisely because in office 365 when you're adding this data this is dynamic array function so we have to use it properly so let's see how we're going to use this data better now so i have a three different month sales this time i have january february and march sales i have the february and i've already named them all in a table format for uh march sales february sales and january sales so how do i do that in my old school method that is this is i don't know how many people don't uh, i don't think that even know that there is such a point is available for me had many people are using me except for a longer time might know this better we call this as copy clipboard option so let's see how to do that in copy the production. So to do that, you have to go to the home tab and then you have to click the clipboard button here. And then you have to check the option whether the second line is activated or it's not. So please give a tick mark here. So that goes going to give you a pop up menu when you press control C two times and we'll see the clipboard button on and I can get. And we close this. I'm going to save the entire data of Jan, Silver, and March and put them all together in quarter one. Again, I'm going to do a small change here because when I select the first data set, I'm going to select the whole data and give control CC once. Then I'll go to the Jan, February, and C's, and then I'll retake the data here, not the header yet. Control CC again. And then I'll go back to the March again and take the data alone in this list. Control CC again. And they'll go to the corner C's and then place the cursor where I want my answer to come as an output and paste all of them. By that way, it's going to give you the full list. Remember, when you're working on a copy clipboard option, once you get your answers for all the data set, immediately clear your clipboard option because this will be temporarily available in your data. So, so use it properly and then you get the dimension, all of them in one dimension data. Before using Power Query and Power Beaver, this is a phrase of this is how we built our data in Excel. We combined our data in Excel. But if you're using a Power Query editor right now, then that makes our life more easier because I've already created all these sheets as tables. So I want to just call the workbook incorporated to get it done. So I'll go back to my data and go to get data. I'll go to other sources and I'll go for Black Query. This particular option works from 2016 version. Again, uh, I don't know whether the 2016 version will give you a drop down like this. So when I type this data here, you can see that I'm getting a drop down here automatically called Excel.CurrentWorkbook. This you won't get it as a drop down if you're using Office 2016 version. If you're using 2019 or 2021 version, you will get this. In Office 365, you will definitely get this. And when I give an enter, that's going to populate all my tables available in my list. And once I get it, if I don't want the name of the table to come into play, then I can remove that column alone. Expand this data. Remove the original column as prefix and then load all the data into the list and give an OK. Once you see all the data is in here, just select the whole data because I want to change the data to the respective data type here. So I'm going to select first column and then select all the column, like as in the shift and click the last column. Go to transform tab and then detect the data type here that's going to edit the data type automatically for you and if you don't want this to be a data time then you can convert that into a date add as a new step and then i don't want these two components to be coming as numbers instead i'm going to convert that into a currency and then i'll convert that into currency levels once i do that i'll go back to home i'll go to close and roll t and then I'll select the existing sheet and place the cursor in here and even OK. That's going to operate all my data in a tabular format here. This is the way we can do it in a power query. If you're using a V stake formula, that's going to make our life easier for us. So, how do I do that? So, I need to copy the headers alone here. I'm going to just say equals V stake function. 
Then I can recall the name. I know each and every name here. So Jan sales, come on, Feb sales, come on, Mark sales. And then give an enter. That's going to populate all my data in a perfect point here. So again, the last data, I didn't choose it properly. So I'm not seeing the formatting that happening yet. So let's fill in the form. Sometimes the formatting might not come to and formatted this output says in this particular pattern. So now we can combine any number of data in Excel either using the old school method called copy to the option or the power query option to bring the current workbook option to combine them. Else you can add a V stick umbrella to combine all the data into one of them. This is Vinod signing out from Excel user series 3.2 myself I had any YouTube challenge. I'll be adding as many new tools possible by me or as many new videos as possible by me. This is Excel user series 3.0 video number 3. Thanks so much.